Today's episode is brought to you by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania. Renewal by Anderson offers you a better way to a better window. Go to rbacentralpadeals.com for this month's specials. Bars in Pittsburgh Southside might start scanning driver's licenses to weed out problem customers. In New York, washing cars is now sort of illegal. Philadelphia intends to sell trees as lumber. And a friendly neighborhood alligator is up for America's favorite pets. I'm Claudia DeMiro, and you're listening to Today in a PA. Bars typically scan driver's licenses to make sure someone's the legal drinking age, reports the Tribune Review. Bars in Pittsburgh Southside, though, could start scanning them to weed out quote-unquote problem customers. During a meeting with bar owners last week, District Attorney Stephen Zappala brought up the fact there's readers out there that can identify people who caused problems at other places or got kicked out of somewhere else. One such system tracks when someone comes into and leaves the bar, checks for fake IDs, and even snaps a photo of them as they enter. Bar owners can then share this information with each other to keep out troublesome patrons. Discussions of such measures have come during the time in which the neighborhood has seen a spike in violence. Whether to put such technology in place and how it'll be funded has yet to be decided. York has quote-unquote sort of made washing your car illegal, reports the York Daily Record. Amendments passed by the city council last week made a few changes to the city's stormwater management ordinance, although technically these amendments were mandated by the State Department of Environmental Protection. The end game of these changes is to improve the water quality of streams, rivers, and eventually the Chesapeake Bay. However, within the amendments is a new ban on washing cars with cleaners or soaps that aren't deemed green, or on streets, alleys, driveways, or any other surface that allows the wastewater to flow into storm drains. People can, though, rinse their cars with water or wash it with soap on grass or on a pad covered with gravel. Violators will be fined an amount set by the district magisterial judge. When asked whether the city expects any blowback from this new policy, Stormwater Management Coordinator Latisse Brown replied, quote, lots. Currently, if a tree falls in Philadelphia, it gets sent to the Fairmount Park Organic Recycling Center to get turned into mulch and or wood chips, states Billy Penn. A brand's new initiative wants to take these fallen or removed trees and instead sell their salvageable parts as lumber. The recycling center will house a reforestation hub that'll mill the salvageable sections, send the lumber on its merry way, then use the proceeds to fund efforts to grow the city's tree canopy. The amount of wood that needs to be disposed of in the city has gone up thanks to things like the weather, aging forests, and invading species. The plan is to get a pilot launch of the program up and ready to go by spring 2023. Ever since he was first rescued from Florida, Wally Gator has gotten quite the reputation as being one of the friendliest alligators around, says PenLive. The seven-year-old emotional support gator, who calls a rescue in York County his home, makes appearances at events like Hershey's National Night Out, where he lets people hug and dote over him. He even served as a ring bearer at a wedding last year. It's no surprise, then, that Wally Gator is currently in the running for the annual America's Favorite Pet Contest, where the winner not only gets the title, but $10,000 and a two-page feature in In Touch magazine to boot. Voting is closed, so all we have to do now is wait and see how far Wally Gator made it. Fingers crossed. That wraps up today's episode. For even more Pennsylvania news and beyond, visit penlive.com. Also, please don't forget to rate this podcast either Apple or Amazon and to leave it an honest review. Thanks ahead of time. And as always, thanks for listening. I'm Claudia DeMiro, and I'll be back again tomorrow for another round of Today in a PA. Today's episode is brought to you by Renewal by Anderson of Central Pennsylvania. Renewal by Anderson offers you a better way to a better window. Go to rbacentralpadeals.com for this month's specials.